So um, can you please tell us about your company and what does your company do? Uh, so Brain and I is, uh, we're a tech company uh, and we have a smartphone app that tracks eyes uh, and eye movement rather than tracking eyes. So the relevance of that is your eyes are very closely linked to your brain. So if, uh, if you wanted to look at your brain and, and the, the health of your brain, the, it will often manifest through your eye movement. So we track the eye movements to give you that real time indication of how your brain health is. Mm. Um, can you please tell us the story behind Brain Eyes development? What actually inspiring you um, about the development of this technology and what specific brain health challenge does it aim to address? So brain health and neurodegenerative disease is, is actually one of the leading causes of disability in the world. And one in three people will suffer from a neurodegenerative disease or ailment in their lifetime. And generally, it's only diagnosed once symptoms occur, and that's often quite late in the cycle of the disease. Mm. So we're trying to bridge that gap because naturally, the earlier the, the diagnosis or the earlier uh, ailment is investigated, the better prognosis and the better the outcome for the patient and for society as a whole. Mm. How do you see the Indonesia's market relevance for your company and for your technology? So in Indonesia, you have a giant population uh, mm. with a focus on, on sort of remote health and technology and health. Mm. So Indonesia is the perfect market for us because mm. we believe we can make a real difference here uh, due to the size of your population and the commitment to technology and health is really important to, mm. to the development of, of, of it here. And uh, it, it's a perfect fit for us and, and naturally being our closest neighbour, um, it really makes perfect sense to, to be launching here in Indonesia. So you have these products and services scanning the eye to get to know more about the conditions of brain and assessing the brain challenges, right? Correct. Um, in Indonesia, have you been distributing your products? How is the reception of the products? Can you tell us more? So we've been actually talking to people in Indonesia for 12 months. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, I visited 12 months ago. Uh, it's been very well received here in Indonesia. Um, one of the use cases for us is um, concussion in sport. Mm. And obviously the population here is very passionate about sport, particularly football. So it's been very, very well received and we're really excited about the opportunity of, of working here. We're very client-led in our approach, so we like feedback from people about what they'd like to see and how they'd use the app. So it's been really well received and we're really excited to be here. Just yesterday, um, you have this press conference and then just um, media gathering, right? Correct, yes. On um, having this AI-based applications and also meeting the media of Indonesia to introduce more about your uh, company. So what are the most frequently asked questions from the media or probably the people of Indonesia about your technology Absolutely. and your products? So the most frequently asked question is, how does it work? Uh, <laughs> okay. it, it doesn't make sense to a lot of people that your, your eyes you can would, scan your eyes would and be then you able to, to tell you yeah. how your brain is functioning. Right. But the reality is your, your eyes are so closely linked to your brain that they're technically corrected, mm. uh, connected to the brain. Mm. And so following a moving target with your eyes seems simple on the surface, but it's mm. actually using the majority of your brain. Mm. So... And that's essentially why you'll see um, any, any sort of deficiency in the brain manifest through your eye movements. Right. But um, how is the research and development of your products that actually already lead you to here? This is a very, very unique technology, a very rare technology. And if your technology is being applied to hospitals, especially remote hospitals in Indonesia, it will definitely be life-changing, especially for patients in remote areas, the health workers, and so on. So can you tell us more about the R&D uh, yep. of this um, particular products? So our science team is world-leading. We're led by Professor Joanne Fielding from Monash University. Oh. Um, she's our chief scientist, and uh, her partner at the university is Professor Owen White. They're world leaders in the ocular motor space. So they've written over 100 papers between them. Uh, they lead our efforts with R&D and, you know, we've got a very strong science team. And I would say our science team is one of our major strengths. 
that separates us from mm -hmm. other players in the market when it comes to eye tracking and links to the brain. Mm. Can you tell us more about the, um, the real cases? You mentioned about concussions in football sports. Yes. And how does your products and how does your technology will try to solve um, the problem, especially for this type of um, health concerns? So concussion is one of the, the major use cases for the app, as, as you said. And so in sports, particularly community sport or grassroots sport, um, so not the professional game, th there's not a lot of resources. So you don't have doctors on hand. Often you don't even have a coach. You have lots of volunteers. And when somebody suffers a head knock, there's nothing for them to use to give right. an indication of whether they should seek further attention or not. Mm. So that's where the app works perfectly because if you've suffered from a head knock, you're going to see it manifest through your eyes. Um, the uh, eye movements are very typical. So um, if, you, if you measure your eyes over time, you're going to see pretty consistent results. Mm -hmm. If you've had a head knock, you'd expect to see a pretty significant drop um, because that deficiency will manifest through the eyes. So in the absence of trained medical professionals, a tool like ours is perfect to direct a user to um, what happens next. So it will prompt them to seek further investigation if, if there is a big deficiency in their eye movements.